Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about paralyzing tests with PyTest XDisk. So in the previous videos, we've looked at some very simple unit tests for things like our square function. And even if we had, say, 10 variants for this test, it only took something like, um, you know, a hundredth of a second to run all these variants serially. Now, it's often going to be the case that we're going to be testing more complex pieces of software and in the form of, say, integration tests or end-to-end -end tests. And these styles of tests may take, you know, multiple minutes to run or tens of minutes to run each. And this presents a very significant problem, especially if we're using these tests for something like pre-merge qualification. So, you know, we don't want developers having to wait, you know, multiple hours for, you know, all these tests to run serially before they're able to say merge their changes uh, in the form of a pull request into some main or protected branch. So the classic way of helping alleviate this problem is of course through parallelization. So we can run some of our tests in parallel. And the typical way that we do that in PyTest is through this plugin called PyTest XDist. Now just a little background on plugins. Plugins are really just extensions to PyTest usually for a specific purpose. So for the case of PyTest XDist, that purpose is paralyzing our tests. And you can see that it's pretty simple to install here. All we really need to run is pip install PyTest XDist. So we'll go ahead and do this on the left-hand side of the screen, and we can go ahead and get XDist. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the tests that we might want to parallelize. So we'll open up this testparallel.py, and inside of here we have two very simple Python functions. We have our function called sleep, which just sleeps for one second. And then we have our test for a sleep function called test sleep. Now for a test sleep test, we've parameterized it. So we're going to have 10 variants of our test. So we're just you know creating this parameter variant and we're sweeping it over the values of zero through nine. So just range 10 values. So let's go ahead and see how this looks if we run this serially. So we'll just run it as we've run all of our tests in the past using pytest testparallel.py. And we see up here, we get these green dots one by one. So our tests are slowly chugging along, taking about a second each uh, because they're all just sleeping for one second. And at the very end, we see that all of our tests pass. So 10 passed in about 10 seconds, so 10.03 seconds. Now, if you want to speed up this test, we could consider paralyzing this test. And to do that, all we would really need to do is add dash in right to the end of our test and specify how many workers say we want to use. So in this case, we have 10 tests. So maybe let's try five workers here. So we should expect roughly uh, two tests per worker. So we should get roughly 5x speed up from this. So instead of taking around 10 seconds, we might expect say around two seconds, right? Because all of our tests take around the same time. And we should expect that with perfect parallelization, it should take about a fifth of the amount of time. So we can go ahead and do this. And we see that you know, with PyTest XDist, we end up spawning our five workers, so GW0 through GW4. And you see we get a little less than a 5x speed up here. So instead of our 10 tests passing in 10 seconds up here when we ran them serially, now it only took about 2.28 seconds. So it's not a perfect speed up with the number of workers, but it's a whole heck of a lot better here, right? Now you can imagine, uh, instead of a sleep function, we might be testing something much more complex that doesn't take one second to run, but instead, say, a minute to run. So instead of, you know, all of our tests taking 10 minutes total, now it might only take two or two and, you know, two minutes and 20 seconds or something to run in total. So this can be some really great speed ups and really allow you to expand the amount of testing that you're going to do. Now, of course, I'm always going to provide caveats uh, when it comes to parallelism. So there can be issues in terms of over parallelizing our tests. So you have to remember that your tests are now running in parallel. So they're going to be competing for the resources um, on your same machine here. So you could start if you over parallelize your tests, you could run into things like out of memory um, errors. So it's a you know, how much to parallelize your tests is, of, of course, has to be evaluated kind of on a case by case basis. But this is just a brief introduction to parallelizing these tests with XDIST. And that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, um, I'll link down this main documentation for PyTest XDIST below the video. And you can find any of these examples on github.com slash coffee before arch. 
and you can find this under repositories and then under PyTest. So feel free to feel free to check any of these examples out, uh, download them, play around with them. Let me know if you have any questions. But as always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.